all the time. If this wasn't my business, like in just one day, wake I when I do, you would people would think I was just gone because I would never be on social media. I don't know why anyone does social media if it's not tied to their business. I mean that I don't, from I don't the bottom that. of my heart. It's insane. Like there's nothing fun about it. And if I had some different business, you would all never hear from me again. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly how I feel. Well, speaking of the letter of appearances, they were iconic. They were, we will remember them forever. Obviously, everyone remembers the appearance with Madonna. I know you guys have like gone your separate ways. We've talked about that for decades. We don't need to rehash all of that. But I'm just curious because like I've seen your show. I mean, you you always do little red Corvette at times. I love Prince. I saw your thing on Instagram where you were so into Miley at the Grammys. I love Miley. I think that's one of the best albums. You're friends with Belinda Carlisle. The Go-Go's are the best thing ever. But do you like like actual Madonna music? Well, I think that it's it's sort of, you know, again, and when it came around in the 80s, it was fun. It was, you know, it was fun dance music. Um, I don't think it, it never. It wasn't like a game changer for me. Her music. I don't think it was. I don't think it was for anybody. I think it was just like, like Kylie Minogue, Madonna, and you know, there's certain people that are just fun. I mean, I and you know, you put on a Madonna song now. I still, I still want to dance. It's it's just good fun. Are you going to the celebration tour? I'm probably not, just because I'd like to. I'd like to see it, but you know. I think if you go and, and people see you, then they're it's sort of like, what is she doing here? What's going on? You know, it's like, I don't want to pull focus. And it's, you know, I've seen, I've been seeing quite a bit of it on, uh, on social media. So I feel like I've pretty much seen the whole thing, but um, yeah, no, I, I, I mean, we were friendly again and then, you know, everybody gets busy. She has her kids and I'm sure if we ran into each other, it'd be totally, it would be fine. You do, you think you would exchange hellos and it would just be like old oh, times. Of course, absolutely. No, we had buried the hatchet long, long, long ago. Um, but I think that she's a person who moves on and does her thing. And she's not a sen sentimental person. Like I, I am, I'm very sentimental. I, ho I hold on to my friendships for, unless they really, something really drastic happens. I mean, I have friends from when I was like five years old. So. That's just who I am, but I still have I still have sentimental feelings about her. We had so much fun, and it was such a great moment um, at that time. And I'm sorry it ended. I you know I'm, it's like you you, you want to like maintain your friendships, but but we have seen each other, and it's it's it would be fine if we saw each other tomorrow. That's good. And you don't think she's sentimental. And you look at someone like a Taylor Swift, the Eras tour is like the biggest thing in the world, Beyonce. You just think maybe, right? Like people would say that about Prince all the time. Like, is it just someone's like in that stratosphere and it's just hard to maintain relationships in general? Yeah, I think it is. I think it is, but I don't think it's that hard. I just think it's it's choices people make. And but people get busy. I mean, you know, people do their thing. I don't, I don't stay in touch with everybody I've ever known or ever had like a big fun time with. So I understand it's, it's all cool. I'm not, you know, I'm not a dramatic person. That's just not my, my thing. So whatever it, however things resolve, it's okay. That's a good attitude. That's kind of my attitude for life. Last Madonna question before we move on. When something happens, like, you know, last year, like when she was like rushed to the hospital and like was unconscious, like, do you then feel like, okay, I mean, it's been decades, but do you feel like we once had a friendship? I should reach out. I think I just answered all that. But I, you know what I mean? It's like, she was in a very, very precarious, terrible situation. I, I didn't think you know, nobody needs anybody else reaching out, you know, it's like, let her pull through. And when I see her again, I'll tell her I was thinking about her and, and hoping that she was going to be okay. That's true. Is this true? Cause you know, if you read stuff on the internet, of course it's true, Sandra, but is this true that you were up for or offered the role? Of oh, I, don't, I, I don't like talking about any of that kind of stuff because it's okay. sort of, it's really, you know, there's so many reasons for you so for choosing and not choosing certain roles, and 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 in retrospect, you can't really fully have a 
a complete conversation about it. So it's a long conversation, right? Yeah, it's a long conversation. All good though. Everything is good. <laughs> Do you what? Because you mentioned you have another role coming up, you know, that you can't tell us about. You know, like what draws you to roles these days? Like again, like after working with Ryan Murphy, those were such great roles like what what do you look for in a role like when you decide these days well I mean first of all when somebody offers you a role that's 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 the number that's the number one you know sort of attraction to something because these days it's harder and harder to get um an offer outright so a lot of times people have to audition and go through jump through hoops and when you don't you're like you look at something uh, so help me Todd was just a great fun role with great actors. And this other thing is like a world-class show um, and a, a, a very offbeat, peculiar character. So it's 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 show to show, you know, you can't, can't really say what it is, but you know what it is when you see it on the page. And Marsha Gay Harden, that was, that was a great role. That oh yeah, great. fabulous. And I mean, I just can't say enough good things about her. She's just, everything you'd imagine and more she's first of all she's one of the best actresses ever working and second of all she's just so generous and so so giving as an actor and as a friend as a person um it was just an amazing experience it was a great role well so many people associate you with letterman you know from his decades on tv but now there's a lot of people listening to this that associate you with your regular appearances on watch what happens there's a lot of bravo fans listening to this you're on radio andy what's it like to be on watch what happens as a regular guest well you know i've developed a friendship with with andy over the years and, and he's also a big fan of mine from the letterman day so he knows that if somebody drops out or something happens and he can call me because I'm one of those people that can step into almost any situation and make it work and bring something uplifting to it. Um, so that makes it fun for him and, and takes the load off of him. Everybody wants some a guest on their show. When I do my show, Sandyland Weekly, um, you know, it's like sometimes it's like pulling teeth with people. You're like, oh, just get me through this 20 minutes. Um, and then sometimes people surprise you and just run with it. And you're like, oh, this is a delight. So I like to be that person who runs with it and brings my A game to any kind of interview. And do you find from doing Sandy Lynn, because I found this, like you just, you can never tell, right? Like you have someone on, you're like, oh, this person's so fabulous. And they just fall so flat. And then you have someone else on, you're like, I mean, uh, this is sure. And you're like, I love this person. Yeah, I know. It's so weird. You just never know. Except for the people that I have on as, reg as regular guests, then you do know. So then it's great. If you could interview anyone, like just anyone, who would it be? Like who's at the top of your list? <laughs> 